what is cracking? cracking? It is your girl, Lillian Francis. I'm a music producer and educator, and today I'm teaming up with Kilohertz to bring y'all a three-part synthesis tutorial series in Faceplant. In every video, I'm gonna be breaking down a different type of synthesis. And today, we're gonna to be focusing on FM synthesis. Now, when you think of FM synthesis, you might think, <gasps> like lots of like dubstepy house, like we are in a rave kind of situation. And yes, FM synthesis is fantastic for the wubs, but also we can do so much other stuff. My hope with this video is just to break down FM synthesis and show you that it does not have to be complicated. It can be very easy when we just look at what's happening. So what is FM synthesis? FM stands for frequency modulation. So in FM synthesis, we have two different kinds of signals. We have a carrier signal and we have a modulator signal. Now, the carrier signal is doing its own dang thing, being, you know, a signal and all, just doing whatever kind of oscillations it's doing. And then the modulator is in the background, not being heard at all, but just imposing its frequency onto the frequency of our carrier. So with that being applied to our carrier signal, we can come up with some really cool timbral changes to our sound. So without further ado, let us dive right in. <gasps> Splash. All right, fam, welcome to phase plan. We're gonna start by creating our carrier signal, the one that's gonna be heard through the output. So we're just gonna click in generators and we're gonna start off with a nice and easy sine wave. This is the one that's gonna be heard through our output, through the master. Now it's time to create our modulator signal. Now our modulator signal, we can just create by clicking down here. And let's also just do a little sine wave here. So this signal right here is not gonna be heard at all directly through the output because we do not have an output for it. Instead, we're gonna use this signal to modulate the phase of our carrier signal. You're gonna see that we have this modulator button here and I'm gonna click it. This will allow us to assign the output of our modulator signal to the phase of our analog signal. The last thing to add to this is an envelope to control volume over time. So let's create an operator by creating an envelope down here under modulators. Now I'm going to apply this envelope to the level of our modulator signal. So I'm going to click this modulation button up here to set it up and I'm going to apply it to the level. And then I'm going to bring down the level to zero. And now I will adjust my attack and my delay. to create this cool movement across time. So we're actually gonna replace this signal with another one. I want something a little bit more exciting. I'm going to add in a wavetable here. I'm gonna apply this envelope to our level right here. Schwamp, schwamp. Bring the level down to zero. And of course, apply this to our face. I'm going to create an LFO that is going to be pretty slow moving. Turn down the hertz right here. Let's bring it all the way down actually. And I'm going to apply the output of this signal to our frame rate right here. And you can choose different wavetables if you want. So let's switch it out. Let's just grab something random here. Cool. Let's add another wavetable here and do something similar. So we're going to assign the output of this guy over to our modulator. And let's duplicate this envelope by selecting it, holding down option and dragging it over here. And we're gonna assign this envelope to our level again. Bring it up about halfway, bring the level all the way down. And let's create a little bit longer attack. <laughs> And let's do the same thing. Let's choose another wavetable, maybe synth sweeping. Let's see what this sounds like. Create another LFO, or you know what? Let's just assign this LFO to the frame rate of this guy. Mm, don't love that one. Cool, kind of into that. And I'm gonna add a random modulator down here that I'm going to assign to the sink here just to give it a little bit extra movement. And let's bring this kind of down, smooth it out. And I want some more width to the sound so I can turn on my delightful little unison here. Cute. All right, I think we're ready to add some effects. So let's go over to our effects lane and let's see what can make this sound cooler. Maybe some chorus. And 
then what else do we want to do? Maybe a little delay. Cool, I like that. And we're gonna need a filter real hot quick. This first filter is gonna be for movement. So we're just gonna be sweeping this guy back and forth. So I'm actually gonna assign this envelope to modulate my cutoff. Let's see how this sounds. Sweet. And then the second filter is going to be just to cut off those super highs because it's getting like a little gnarly up there. And I also want this guy to open up with my envelope. So I'm going to click my modulations here. Oh, I know. Let's throw it through a convolver. This is a sweet new convolution reverb snap in. I'm really digging this. Let's just pick some, maybe like a delay thing. And I always love to add a good multipass just to treat our different frequency bands differently. So if I click the edit in my multipass here, say just on the high frequencies, so all these frequencies above 3000, I'm gonna add maybe a resonator, see how this sounds. And maybe we'll add a flanger to the high end as well, just to get a little bit of top end movement. Sweet. And let's add a little bit of distortion to our mids. Maybe just a little saturation. Yeah, that's the stuff. Excellent, so we did it. Relatively easily, we've created this cool evolving pad. I hope this was helpful for you in just understanding how FM synthesis works and also seeing how you could use these techniques to make your sounds even cooler. I hope you learned a thing or two about face plant along the way and I will catch you for the next tutorial. And if you enjoyed my little demonstration here, you can go ahead and follow me on my YouTube channel at Lillian Francis Music. I post lots more tutorials about music production. So anyways, fam, I think that is it. We're going to break. I will see you guys next time. Bye.